So as we've talked about quite a bit this week, a lot of preparations for an upcoming Russian spacewalk currently targeted to take place on August 10th. Uh, today in Mission Control, I'm joined by one of our resident spacewalk specialists, Devin Balch, who's here to tell us a little bit more about what they're going to be doing uh, during the planned six to six and a half hour spacewalk on Monday. So Devin, first off, thanks so much for joining me. Sure. Um, it's always great to get insight because we don't you know, always know exactly. It's tough to, my Russian isn't too good, so I have Why trouble reading the ops notes. Um, but I really appreciate you being here. Um, starting off, you know, they have a lot of tasks, like every spacewalk's always packed usually. Uh, starting off with some of the science work that they're going to be doing, what are some of the uh, external experiments that they're going to be interacting with or replacing? Sure. So uh, the, one of the first ones they'll be working with is the test experiment, which is a, a way that they can take samples. They s have this swab device that is in a airtight container and they can go around the space station if they deem fit to swab an area that they need mm -hmm. an analysis on, say uh, underneath a thermal blanket or a micrometeorite shield, or if a vent is showing something, mm -hmm. maybe swipe that, they put it in their container and then bring it home and bring it to the ground and then they can do their analysis on it. So, And they're gonna swipe a, a radiator and a solar array this time to see oh, if okay. there's anything deposited on it that is shows concern. So. Okay, and there's other experiments. That's I know there's one that they're going to be photographing and one that they're actually going to be kind of reorienting and working that's, with. That's correct. So um, the expose R, they're going. That's a materials uh, witness test, and it has mm -hmm. quite a few different materials on it. That they, uh, it's biological and organic materials and they've exposed that to space and they're going to take pictures of this to analyze those photographs to see how those are reacting to the space mm -hmm. environment and also they're going to uh, go up on and uh, reorient this environmental experiment that is is studying the uh, environments of space and they're going to reorient it to just get a different aspect of of data from the environments okay. of space so okay and it's not just going to be science work for them out there they're going to be doing some maintenance work as well they're going to be installing some new items what are they going to be you know attaching to the outside of the station sure. so one of their maintenance tasks is they're going to install some gap spanners which those are just soft handrails that okay. create a a nicer translation path say the first one that they install is going to go around an experiment and so that takes them a around the experiment so they don't come in contact Stop with it. Stop climbing over it every exactly time. Exactly, correct, yeah. <laughs> and then another one they're gonna install that uh, it just gives them a better translation path between two handrails. So gap spanners are used to create translation paths mm -hmm. and ease translation paths, I guess. So, And also one of the other tasks, one of the maintenance tasks is that on another, a previous EVA or spacewalk, they went out and saw that one of the navigation uh, antennas was missing its cover and so they went and looked at another cover and the fasteners or screws were coming out they were uh -huh. backing out so they built these what they call these fastener kits and they're going to go install these fastener kits on wall or what they call a wall antenna or navigation antenna one through five and they just inhibit the the fasteners from backing out so they don't lose another cover okay so. And then one of the other one of the things that I had saw that kind of caught my eye was they're actually going to be cleaning one of the windows on the Russian <laughs> segment. So I mean, what what's happening in that space environment that could cause a window to get dirty? And what the heck are they doing to clean? I mean, there's no Windex, so, no out Windex, in micro, no space in micro Windex, gravity. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened is uh, I, is they uh, we have a lot of visiting vehicles, and mm -hmm. all those have rocket engines, and they yep. have an exhaust just like your car. So oh, it's okay. stirring up particles and it's collected and they noticed that that window looked hazy so they took a test experiment out mm -hmm. there and swiped across it and left a big streak across it ah. on a previous EVA <laughs> or a spacewalk and so they they did the analysis and they decided we should clean that window and make it like it was yeah. when they flew it so uh, they developed this this toolkit that has a swabs, two swabs in it with handles on it, and mm -hmm. the swabs are kind of a type of uh, uh, like terry cloth. Okay. And it's just kind of they're going to go out there and buff the, the, the little porthole window and then put it in its container and 
take the next one out and buff that one. And it's kind of like similar to what you would use on your your car headlights when they get hazy to clean them. So gotcha. Yeah. So I mean, some of the other Russian cosmonauts put their fingers in the sliding glass door, and now they got to go clean That's it. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, and uh, one of the other things you had mentioned earlier was antennas. They're going to be doing some replacement work on one. They're also going to be jettisoning something, aren't they? I that's mean, correct. What, that that's always kind of fascinating. <laughs> what what goes into so. you know actually jet? So I mean, they're basically kind of throwing something overboard. Yes, they sure are. So previously, I stated that one of the navigation antennas mm -hmm. was missing its cover. So they're going to replace that that antenna. So to get it back into its nominal configuration. Okay. So the antenna is number six, and they're going to go out and the the antenna is hardwired. So they have to cut the cable off of it. Oh wow. And then they'll coil that up, and then they have to go and and uh, disconnect the connector at the other end. And uh, Gennady will remove the old antenna and place the new antenna that has the hardwired cable mm -hmm. on it, and they'll reroute the cable and make that cable where the old one was. And then they get in position, they take the old antenna down and get in a, a certain position that the they've, all the scientists have analyzed yep. exactly the direction that it needs to go and the speed and everything else. So it, it's very a critical time. You don't want it to come back and recontact yep. station somewhere. So they have a specific angle and cone that they're going to to, they to know jettison exactly at where exactly they where to. yeah and there's some there's some some play with it yeah it's not exactly they don't have a laser within tolerance exactly right? yes so okay. and they'll jettison that and uh hopefully it will re-enter and fire you know it'll be a fiery ball and nothing will be hit gone. the ground That's all correct. right and then one final task that i know they have is they're going to be taking a lot of pictures of the Russian segment itself. Yeah. And I mean, why Why do they need to go out and do this? And what can people down here learn from them doing that? Well, they take pictures every, pretty much every spacewalk. And mm -hmm. so they do extensive uh, analysis on those. And they'll see that some thermal blankets have a, a discoloration or a shield doesn't look quite right. Mm -hmm. So they want to go and take uh, a picture a close-up picture, a high-definition picture of that okay. area. Or they may have indications of an exhaust vent. It's not acting like they think it should, so they may go and take a picture of that or that area. And like I said, they're going to take pictures of the Expose R experiment, that materials experiment, to mm -hmm. see uh, how that's being affected by space. So space is a harsh environment. Yep. So it, there's things out there that we are still learning. So give it a thorough look thorough. over and mm -hmm. see if anything isn't looking like it's supposed, <laughs> it's to. supposed to. Yeah. All exactly. right. Well, mm -hmm. that's a. I mean, a rough preview of everything that they're going to be doing on Monday. Be sure to watch the spacewalk live. Uh, the coverage time at the bottom of your screen starting at 8:45 a.m. Central Time, 9:45 a.m. Eastern. Devin Balch again, spacewalk specialist. Thanks so much for joining Thank me you. today. Really yes, appreciate sir. the insight. Yes, sir. Thank you.